Sabrina is driven to the town and country school, Hampstead. This morning we're having our readings as usual. First of all, Amanda Grimes will read Mosaic. Mosaic. Why does this child sit in a darkened room when the sun taps at the window? She is cold. Why is she cold? The sun is warm and awaits her company. Why then? Why is she cold? Her heart is cold, and the sun cannot catch it, for it throbs quickly. If I lend her my mosaic, will she laugh? She has a mosaic already, and it is that which has ripped her heart apart. She can only cry now. Only cry, that's all. Why was her life a mosaic? Why? Can you not see? If you asked her, she would tell you in colours. You tell me. What colour? Red. Tell me about red. Red was her fury at being outwitted. Red was her long, tangled hair that showed her to be as wild as a gypsy. And yellow? Yes, yellow was a shock. Great stress is laid on creative work at they Sabrina's school, and the children read their own compositions at assembly each morning. There are 170-day children and 14 boarders. At Sabrina's age, fees are 42 guineas a term, rising to 55 guineas for day pupils at the top of the school. Several of the teachers are frobel trained, and the pupils often come from artistic homes. The school aims to release and develop the child's personality through creative self-expression. And black? Black is the room in which she sits. No more colours? No, no more. Is she still a selfish child? No, she is a woman, a broken woman, fumbling with a mosaic. And now, Sabrina Crewe, you read your story. There was once a little princess named Anna. Anna was a very pretty princess. Her crown was orangey-yellow. She was six years old. One day, she was walking around the palace garden when she heard a roar. She looked around her but saw nothing. She thought it was her imagination, but soon she heard another roar. Now she was very scared. She ran to the room where the queen and king were sitting. She told her father what she had heard, but the king said it was not true. Mrs. Paul, in the English lesson we saw the children doing, what sort of thing is the school aiming at? Well, you saw us reading their own stories, and you heard at the assembly the older ones write, reading poetry or prose. Uh, this is one of the important activities in the school, uh, because we try to work through the child's natural creativeness. Well, as you know, any child, needn't be very gifted, has th uh, five fundamental gifts. First, of course, very well-known child art, discovered by Tushek. Um, a gift for fluent, flowing prose and poetry, if approached in the right way. Uh, so, the gift for writing. Acting, of course, you've seen the very unconscious grace, especially of a young child. La cigale est enchantée tout l'été, se trouva faut dépourvu quand le pays se fut venu. Pas un seul petit morceau de mouche. Languages, of course. A child learns a language in six weeks. A 60-year-old will take well, 40 years and not achieve the same correctness of ear. Mem has not the same memory or not the same power of assimilation. Because the child uses a center in the brain which that she or he uses for learning his own language. This center has only been recently discovered. It's, it's a sensory center. And we aim at this center when we do our uh, so-called French result reading, which is a continuous course that goes from kindergarten age to school leaving age. Donnez-moi un couteau, mademoiselle. Coupez la pomme, prenez le couteau, coupez la pomme en deux. Très bien. On lui donne un morceau de pomme Oui. Oui. Alors mangez la pomme. Très bien. Oui, vous aurez un morceau de pomme si vous comptez de 1 jusqu'à 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
15, 16, 18, 19, 11. Oui, et 10. 20. 20. 20. Pas un morceau de pomme. Un morceau de Non. Alors, ce, qui veut réciter le verbe avoir Sabrina, levez-vous, récitez le verbe avoir. Le verbe avoir. Chien, tu as, il a, elle a. Nous avons, vous avez, et on sort, et on sort. On lui donne un morceau de pomme Oui. Non. non. Alors, oui. mangez le morceau de pomme, oui. Oui, maintenant. Qui veut réciter le verbe être Le verbe être You would claim that your technique of teaching French draws upon a different part of the brain from the conventional way. Yes, yes. We, of course, we have to use all the centers for teaching uh, the, the complete language, including grammar and so on, and we use a modern textbook, ordinary textbook in ordinary, very conventional classes, and of course, prepare for the exam, hoping that the children will take the exam with success, and some of them will become bilingual. We have achieved this quite frequently. I mentioned the four gifts, but I didn't mention the fifth, which I think is maybe the most important. If I may call it the gift for undirected love. It's not a possessive love. A child can love anything. A dog, of course, any animal, a tree, a flower, a chair, a footstool, as my brother loved it, and he was punished for it. This undirected love is, if I may say, a signpost to a religious life, a religious life. The headmistress's aims are a fair reflection of how Sabrina's mother wants her educated. Creativity, self-expression, above all, social education. Conventional educational success is not neglected, rather it is taken for granted. GCE for Sabrina is not a gateway to a better standard of life. This is already assured, and so her school can be primarily concerned with self-fulfillment. <laughs> Why did you choose town and country particularly? Well, of the three co-educational schools I looked at, it had much the happiest atmosphere and feeling about it. The minute one walked in, one felt there was something special about it. And this is, in fact, one aspect of the freedom that they give the children and the way they approach education, which I think is excellent.